hey guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to learn how to make this ankara crop top with a front zipper and an exaggerated sleeve it is padded also and the dart is a straight dart so i'm going to teach you guys how to sew all these so this is the fabric that i'll be using for the tutorial and to fold out your fabric you divide your bust measurements by four plus extra six inches her bust if your bust is 40 her bust is 44 so divided by 4 is 11 plus 6 inches that is 17 and this is an all shoulder blouse as well so you subtract 5 inches from the shoulder or 6 inches and from there you measure your full length the full length can start from any and 20 inches upwards but i want to make this full length 23 so 23 plus 2 inches same allowance is 25 so from the folded part i'll I will add, um, I will mark out to 2 inches. These 2 inches that I'm marking from the full length to the shoulder part is for the zipper. Remember there's a, that there is a zipper at the front of this dress. So that's why I marked out 2 inches at the center front. These 2 inches is for my zipper allowance. So all the measurements that I will be taking will start from the line where I marked two inches none of them will cross that line because that's not that line is just for our zipper so i've marked my full length and i've added um an allowance to it and i've also marked out my zipper allowance the next thing that we are going to measure is our bust points so i subtracted five inches from the shoulder her bust point is 11 her under bust is 14 and a half and her half length is 18 then the full length and the allowance so i'll go ahead and draw out this line so that it will be very very clear for us all so i'm marking my half length line my under bust line and my bust point line the last line this one is the bust point line you can subtract more than five inches from your shoulder if you want your off shoulder to come down so so well you can even make it four inches if you want it to be up so i'm done doing that the next thing that i will do right now is to mark my that her nipple to nipple is nine inches and nine inches divided by two is 4.5 so i'll measure 4.5 plus half an inch for seam allowance that is five i marked five at the boss point and five at the shoulder point then at the under boss i marked four and half four and half at the half length and four and half at the full length this is a straight dash remember so if you measure um if you mark four at your boss points you mark three and half at your under boss so that your that will align so so well so i'm trying to connect the points i'm trying to connect the points where i marked four and half to the points where i marked five inches so this is it for now the next thing that i will do is to measure my breast cut So I subtracted 2.5 inch at the breast cut that is starting from the under bust downwards 2.5 inch from the under bust downwards and I'll connect it with my ruler and from that point I'll make a curve to connect the bust point and upwards from the under bust you will curve it to your bust point and from your bust point you will slant it at the shoulder the, the slant that i did at the shoulder can be two inches or 2.5 inches depending on how deep you want it to be so the next thing that i'll do is to draw my neckline you can make it a sweetheart neckline or a v neckline so i'll make this one a sweetheart neckline the next thing that i will do is to cut out my center front first i'll cut from the allowance and i'll cut out my center front so i also cut off the place where i curved my breast cut from so i'll cut out that part and as you can see the breast shape is out i'll also open the center front because it will be two pieces the center front will be two pieces because of our zipper then i'll cut my neckline 
so guys remember to notch your zipper allowance i'm trying to notch my zipper allowance the down part the upper part of the zipper allowance and you will also remember to notch your under bust because it will help you to know where your breast uh, where your breast pad will stop so i've notched my under bust the next thing is to take my body measurements so i'll place the center front on top of the breast cut i'll place it in a way that it will cover the breast cut so after that you will take your body measurements and remember that your body measurements will not cross the zipper allowance line her boss is 44 divided by 4 is 11 plus 2 inches is 13 as you can see the 13 is on the zipper allowance line so her waist is 38 38 divided by 2 is 9.5 plus 2 inches that is 11.5 and i marked 11.5 so i'll connect the 11.5 to my breast part and i'll go ahead and cut the next thing that i'll do before cutting is to um mark out my armhole your armhole will stop at two inches before your boss point as you can see from your boss point you will go up by two inches and now connect your armhole so i've cut that part out and if you open it up you will see that your two pieces of the center front is out and the breast cut the two sides are out as well so with the help of this I'll still reshape my chest line, my shoulder part, but not now. I normally do that after joining. So with the help of the front part, you can easily cut out the back part. I will show you how I normally cut out my back part, how I cut it out so easily. So this is the front part. It is ready. I'll show you how to cut your back part so you fold your fabric for the back part and this time around on a normal day your zipper will be at the back you know but this is this time around the zipper is at the front that means that there will be no zipper allowance at the back the back will not be open it will be closed as you can see i have placed my center front on the back and i have folded in my zipper allowance there will be no zipper allowance at the back remember that so i'll place my breast cut in a way that it will overlap the center front the center front will overlap the breast cut as you can see in the video so this will make it so so easy you don't have to take retake any measurement so after placing it this way just go ahead and cut then you can notch your dart points or you can cut a straight dart at the back for me i love cutting a straight dart at the back just make it straight so from the middle i'll cut um a straight dart because i want my dart to extend to the chest line at the back so i've extended it to my chest line this is the dart for the back and the back is three pieces right now why the front is four pieces so i'll keep this aside the remaining fabric i'll fold it into four and i'll cut out my sleeve your sleeve length should be around 28 inches 30 inches because it is an exaggerated sleeve that is if you're not using a lining but if you're using a lining i think you should make it like 25 inches long or 26 inches long because you just use half an inch to turn it with the lining but if you're not using a lining it will be longer than that so um time to cut our wording i'll place my center front on my wording as you can see the the wording did not extend to the zipper allowance side it stopped on the zipper allowance line so as you can see this is how it looks like and i'll go ahead and cut the side so after cutting it i will divide the part into two I will divide it into two, one for the right side and one for the left side. I will also make a sweetheart neckline shape on it. So if you place it on your under bust, this is how it will look like. So I'm trying to trim it out so that it will not cross the zipper allowance line. So the next thing is to cut for the 
sides the breast cut so i'll place um my breast cut on it and i'll cut it out this way So I'm done cutting it out and this is how it will look like. If you place your fabric on it, this is how it will look like. So this one has a gum. You go ahead and gum it with your iron. So I'm joining my back. Remember to cut your lining. You add um, an estate to the lining and cut. So I'm joining my back part and after joining the back part i'll go ahead and join the front part so i'm done joining one piece of the back i'll go ahead and join the other one So this is it for the back i'll go ahead and join the front part so here is the front part i'm trying to cross check it before i join so i'll join one side of the front part, and after doing that i'll go ahead and join the second part and after joining the second part please remember to notch your breast cut remember to notch it so well and use your tailor's ham to iron it so so well you have to dampen the bra part the seam part and iron it so so well it will help to achieve a neat um seam finishing so after doing this if i turn it out this is how one side of it will look so um over to my lining i'm trying to join my lining for the front parts for the one side of the front part all the things that i did um, on the fabric i will repeat them on the lining that is how it works So I'm done um, joining my line and I'm done ironing as you can see I opened all my seams and ironed them so I'll turn the back parts with the lining this way so I'm done turning the neckline I will notch and I'll top stitch so I'm top stitching that right away. After top stitching, I will close the down part. I will reduce the lining by one inch so that when I turn the down part of the bust of the blouse, it will not be popping out. So I reduce the lining by one inch. So after doing this, I'll go ahead and close the down part and the sides of the back part.
so i'm done joining the back and for the front before i turn it with my lining i'll add my zipper first so remember i notched my zipper allowance so i'll attach my zipper to the main fabric first and after attaching the zipper to the main fabric i'll go ahead and turn it out with my lining i'll show you guys how i did that so i'm done joining to one side i'll go ahead and join the other side of the center front please remember to notch your zipper allowance this will help you to do accurate um to take your accurate measurements and attach your zipper accurately so that your dart measurements will not be compromised So I'm done, atta I'm done attaching my zipper to the other side of the bustier and now if we turn it you can see how it looks so so fine and neat. So what I'll do is that I can, I will now separate the two parts, I'll open the zipper so that the two parts of the front part will stay um, differently, they will just be they would stay apart from each other so that i will be able to turn it with my lining i'll turn them i'll turn them individually so this is the lining for this part and this is how you are going to turn it first of all you will turn the neckline first of all i'll turn the neckline and after the neckline i'll show you how i turned the zipper allowance so after turning your neckline remember that some parts of your zipper will be remaining at the upper part so those that part is now useless after turning your neckline you can go ahead and cut out the excess zipper at the upper part so i'm notching and after notching i'll go ahead and top stitch this is top stitching is very very important especially at the front part so after top stitching this is how i will turn the zipper side i will sew very close to the line where i attached my zipper you can see the thread that is where i attached my zipper so i will sew very close to that line where i attached my zipper and after that i will turn the down part and i'll turn the side also so the effect of this is that when you turn this front part you notice that you will not be seeing the remaining part of your zipper it will look so so neat and you will not be seeing any zipper allowance at the front so i'm repeating the same thing on the other side i've cut out the zipper i will notch and i'll also top stitch top stitching is very important like i said before So I'm done turning and ironing them and this is how they look like. They are separate. Then this is an open zipper. Remember to use an open zipper. So if you zip it, this is what you will have. It looks so, so fine and neat. You can open and you can close. So this is how it looks like on the inside. And the next thing is my sleeve. I'm turning the sleeve with the lining so that it will give it um, a fuller look. So I'll turn the four sides of my sleeve, both the upper part and the lower part, and I'll go ahead and iron it out. So after ironing, I'll keep that aside. So I'll repeat the same thing for the other sleeve. So after ironing your sleeve, this is what you do. You just run a straight stitch at the upper part of the sleeve and at the lower part of the sleeve. This is where you will insert your elastic. But if you're not using a lining, your sleeve should be up to 28 inches because you will fold the upper part and you fold the lower part as well. So I'm trying to run a straight stitch on the upper part as well. This is where I'll attach my elastic. So um, the next thing that I will do is to join the front and the back. I've ironed them out and I've taken my body measurements. So I'll go ahead and join them.
please make sure that they are equal at the lower parts the blouse is not so so hard all you need is just um neatness and i'm trying to join the other side and guys this is all for this class i couldn't show you the finished look but trust me it was so so beautiful so after doing this you go ahead and trim out your um chest line you insert a fabric under your breast curve so that it's a stand then you go ahead and measure your chest line probably 10 inches or 11 inches but i made mine 11 inches then after that you will trim your armhole and when you attach your sleeve your blouse will come out so so fine thank you guys for watching please do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that anytime i upload a new video you'll be the first to get notified thank you guys so so much bye